Hello, I'm Olga Maslovska and I'm a lecturer in social statistics and demography at the University of Southampton. Today I'm presenting joint work with Professor Peter Smith from the University of Southampton. And this work builds up on our previous work in cross-sectional context where we investigated data quality indicators, including straight lining in mixed device online survey in wave eight of understanding society. Today's title of my presentation is consistency in straight lining across waves in the understanding society longitudinal survey with a special focus focus on straight lining among smartphone users. So as I already mentioned, we conducted work in cross-sectional context and our results specifically about straight lining were mixed. But for some blocks, we observed higher likelihood of straight lining for those who were using mobile, mobile phones or smartphones. Similar results were found by Matthew Sattol in 2018, but their sample consisted only of young people of 16 to 17. In other countries, the results were also mixed. When straight lining was considered, some of the studies found higher likelihood of straight lining for mobile devices, but in others, no difference in straight lining by device used by respondents was observed. So the main aims of this specific work was, there are three main aims. The first one was to investigate whether there is a consistency in straight lining behavior over time the second one was to investigate whether those using smartphones have higher likelihood of straight line in behavior. And then the third one was to investigate whether change in questionnaire design, which happened in understanding society in wave 10, they moved from non-mobile optimized questionnaire design to mobile first design, whether this change reduces the likelihood of straight lining. Again, with special focus for smartphone users. So the data we used for the analysis, it's understanding society data waves eight to 10. I'm not gonna talk a lot about this because I'm pretty sure that many of you are familiar with this specific data set. Just to mention that at wave eight, 40% of sample were collected online. And that was the first large enough sample which allowed us to do investigations uh, of uh, data quality in mixed device online survey. And then later waves, they had even higher proportion of sample collected online. So the sample size for this specific analysis was 6,117 individuals. There were individuals included in wave eight, and then they were followed up in waves nine and 10. All exploratory variables were measured at wave eight, and we know that this is a limitation because of course some information might have changed between waves, but we consider them time constant for this specific purpose. So blocks of questions used for the analysis of straight lining. There are two blocks. The first one was general health questionnaire questions. The, the same block of questions was collected at three points in time in all three waves. Exactly the same 12 questions, four point scale, no strictly attitudinal, but a scale. Then we wanted to compare to more attitudinal type of scales. Unfortunately, there is no single block of questions which would be asked over time. Of course, when time goes by, we will have more waves. Maybe some of them would be repeated over time. But uh, so what we had to do in order to conduct this investigation, we needed to take three different blocks acro across three waves. And in the first wave, wave eight, we looked at the block of questions, important who you are. It contains seven items with four point scales plus does not apply option. Not ideal because it has four point scale and other blocks have five point scale, but that was the only scale available, the only block available for us for the analysis. For the wave nine, we used neighborhood module, eight items, five point scale. And for wave 10, we used environmental module, nine items, five point scale. So just a little bit of descriptive statistic. So smartphone used by wave, because obviously, as I mentioned, one of the, our main focuses on smartphone users. In wave eight, 10% of our sample use smartphone. Uh, wave 9, 11 and 0.3% and wave 10, 11.7%. So note massive proportion of those who were using smartphones. And I think this table is quite interesting. So if you look across all waves, 80% of the sample didn't use smartphone at all at any of the points. And only 3.9% of respondents use smartphone in all three waves. 
is just for our context, this information. Then <clears throat> this table presents high tendency of straight lining by waves. And we can see that for block one, there are no massive differences, but in block two, we can see differences in uh, straight lining. So for example, in uh, wave 10, only around 19% of respondents uh, were identified having high straight line in tendency. And, and, but when it compared to wave nine, it was nearly 30%, so quite a big difference. And we think that it might be due to the questions. So some of the questions probably respondents find more interesting and therefore their straight line in behavior is a little bit lower. So if you remember for, for wave 10, we used environmental module, maybe it attracts people more. Yeah, so this is just a speculation, of course. So this table presents tendencies of straight lining by wave and by device. So if you look at the block one, we can see there are no massive differences by type of device or by wave. But in block two, we can see quite a bit of differences and especially for smartphone. So you can see that in wave nine, 35% of people were straight lining, those who were using smartphone and 25.3% in wave 10. So, and now more formal tests. So, chi-square test confirms that there is actually an association between straight line and tendency and device used in waves 9 and 10. Okay, so methods. We used population average logistic regression model. So, all modeling was done in Stata. And then we also used random effects logistic regression models. And uh, it helped us to obtain intra-class correlation and actually look at consistency of straight lining over time. We also investigated interactions between wave and device used. <clears throat> so I already mentioned straight lining, but because it can be defined differently in different studies, I will just tell you the definition how we use our outcome variable. So straight lining is the average deviation between the current answer compared to the answer to the preceding question. And we use this definition from Loosevelt and colleagues in 2018. The higher the score of straight lining, the lower that straight line in tendency. And this score was then converted into a binary indicator, which allowed us to then feed logistic regression models by giving respondents in two bottom deciles a value of one, high straight line in tendency, and the remaining respondents a value of zero. So the first two population average models. So here, no details. I will show plots in the next slides. So uh, very similar models in block one. What was significantly associated with high straight line and tendency was age, ethnicity, qualification, economic activity, and household type. We tested for significant interaction between device used and wave, and it wasn't significant for block one. In block two, slightly different variables, ethnicity, economic activity, household type, income, and urban rural. But there, interaction between device used and wave was significant. So our main effects, which might be quite interesting for these people who are more likely to straight line or have higher tendency of straight lining. So in block one, no interaction model, and this is the final model. <laughs> so what, what we can see here, in comparison to younger people of age under 19, those who are age 40 to 69 have higher odds of straight lining. Those who are of Indian, Pakistani, and Bangladeshi ethnic backgrounds have higher likelihood of straight lining than those of white ethnicity. Those who have no qualifications or only have GCSEs have higher odds of straight lining than those with a degree. Those who are retired have lower odds of straight lining than those who are self-employed. And those who are disabled have higher likelihood of straight lining when compared to self-employed people. And the last one, those in household with children and two or more adults have higher likelihood of straight lining when compared to those in single person households. So here for block two, this is not the final model. This is model without interaction, but we just wanted to look at the main effects first. So same, same as the, with block one, those who are Indian and Pakistani and Bangladeshi have higher likelihood of straight lining than those of white ethnicity, ethnic background. Those who have lower qualifications than degree have higher odds of straight lining when compared to those with a degree. Those who are retired who provide family care or full-time students have lower odds of straight lining when compared to those self-employed. Those who live in larger households have also higher odds of straight lining when compared to single-person households, similar results to what we found in block one. Those in highest income quartile have lower odds of straight lining 
when compared to the ones with the lowest income. Those in rural areas have higher likelihood of straight lining than those in urban areas. And those using smartphones have higher likelihood of straight lining when compared to those using PCs for survey completion, which is quite interesting result for us as well. And those in wave nine have higher likelihood of straight lining and then wave 10 low likelihood of straight lining when compared to wave eight. And of course, this can be explained by differences in question blocks used for the analysis and not by the straight line and behavior per se. However, as I mentioned, this model doesn't contain interaction yet. <clears throat> so here, those are predicted probabilities, plots of predicted probabilities for our two final models for block one and block two. And those probabilities are obtained for those people who are age of 20 to 29, white ethnicity with a degree in household with two adults and children and paid employment and highest income quartile living in urban areas. So for the block one, we can see that the level of straight lining do not change much over time and patterns are reasonably consistent by device. However, for block two, first of all, I should mention we shouldn't compare levels of straight lining over time due to different questions. However, we can see that the likelihood of straight lining is higher for smartphones, especially for waves nine and wave 10 when compared to other devices. Surprisingly, and contrary to our expectations, the straight lining in smartphones in wave 10, when mobile first design was introduced, is still associated with higher risk of straight lining in comparison to other devices. So that was our third aim for investigation. Then we fitted random effects models. The results were very, very similar. In block one, no interaction. In block two, interaction. But our main focus here was on producing ICCs and our raw. So our raw indicator, the results suggest that in block one, after controlling for all exploratory variables, 44% of the remaining variance in propensity of having a high straight line and tendency is attributable to between individual va variation. And this value is only 11% in block two. So this result suggests that within individual variation is much lower in block one at around 56% when compared to block two, where it is around 89%. And this suggests that in block one, there is some stability in straight lining within individuals. Or in other words, that there is strong persistence of straight lining within individuals for the same question asked over time than for different blocks of questions. Of course, our work had limitations. And as I already mentioned, block one, there were no strict attitudes in all the uh, questions. However, they still used scales. So it was still okay to do our analysis. In block two, we use different variables with different scales. Of course, this is a limitation. However, the data, we didn't have similar block of attitudinal questions, which we were able to follow up over time. Of course, as I mentioned, we treated all our covariates as time constant, but some covariates changed since wave eight. For example, I don't know, qualif qualification can change, income can change and things like that, marital status. And in some cases, what we define as straight lining using our definition could be a real response pattern. But of course, this is the problem for all studies which are, uh, which are investigating straight lining. And it's quite difficult to uh, differentiate between real pattern and the straight lining <coughs> for these cases. Okay, now to conclude. Overall, the results are mixed and they require further investigation. So for our way, uh, aim one, where, when we were investigating consistencies, again, results are mixed. For block one, straight lining is relatively constant over time. For block two, straight lining is not constant over time, probably due to different blocks of questions and not just straight lining behavior. <coughs> so what we need to do, we obviously need to do more work <coughs> and investigate is behavior, straight line and behavior dependent on questions. So when we addressed our aim two, we looked at straight lining by device again, mixed results. For block one, we didn't find any differences by device, but in block two, we did find differences. And what was interesting, we found high likelihood of straight lining for, mo for mobile, for smartphones in waves nine and 10. 
Again, this is quite important finding, and we need to do more work to actually investigate why we still observe this, especially in wave 10. And our uh, aim three was to look at the mobile first design. Surprisingly, there was no improvement in smartphone users' performance in wave 10 after mobile first design was implemented, contrary to our expectations. Again, this requires more work to understand why this is the case. So there are some references. Thank you very much for listening to my presentation today. And I really look forward to the questions in the conference session on Friday, or you can always email me and my email address is here on the slide. Thank you very much.